My name is Robert Kelly and I'm uh, Chief of uh, Surgery here at Children's Hospital of King's Daughters and Professor of Clinical Surgery and Pediatrics at Eastern Virginia Medical School. Today we are repaired by uh, a new technique, a minimally invasive technique, a condition called pectus carinatum. Pectus carinatum is a deformity of the chest wall where the front part of the chest uh, uh, protrudes too far out. In patients who have very severe deformities, they commonly complain of pain in the chest at the site of the deformity and also difficulty with doing aerobic exercise. First thing that we do is to check to see that the patient's uh, sternum or breastbone can be uh, pushed to the desired position. After doing that, we make small incisions on either side of the chest and tunnel across the front of the chest passing a stainless steel bar in the front which has been curved from a flat piece of metal to conform to that particular patient's chest shape on the operating table. It's then secured by means of uh, metal stabilizers to the ribs on either side. The correction is visible right away uh, after the bar is put in place to move the sternum to the position you'd like it to, it to be. We believe the bar should remain in place for about two years and uh, that's based on our extensive experience with pectus excavatum where the chest pushes inwardly instead of outwardly uh, and in that condition we found that at least two years is, is uh, necessary to keep the chest from going back to its original position after the bar is taken out. We believe that uh, the most sensible time to do it is when the child has achieved most of their skeletal growth between 15 and, and 18 or 19 years old. There were no difficulties with operation and the patients haven't experienced complications, so we're, we're very pleased.